Andy Murray came to this U.S. Open expecting to contend for the title. He's ranked number two in the world. He made the final at Flushing Meadows a year ago, and he led the tour in hard court victories this season. But he's leaving after a fourth round loss to Marin Cilic in straight sets. It's the most disappointing loss of Murray's career. My tennis career, yeah. I mean, worst things have happened to me, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, in terms of tennis, you know, I guess that, um, you know, just kind of the way the match won, I think really, um, you know, makes it, makes it disappointing. But, you know, I believe that I'll come back better from it. Murray will have to wait until next year to try again to become the first British man since the 1930s to win a Grand Slam title. Chilich, meanwhile, moves into his first career Grand Slam quarterfinal, where he'll face Juan Martin Del Potro. Del Potro is seeded sixth and got past 2003 French Open champion Juan Carlos Ferrero in straight sets. On the women's side, Kim Kleisters kept up her impressive run, making it to the semifinals with a straight set win over Lee Na. Kleisters is back at the U.S. Open for the first time since 2005 after ending a two-year retirement. She says she finds it fun to see the younger players out there on court, like 17-year-old American Melanie Udan, who plays her quarterfinal Wednesday. The wow, like coming back and just, you know, seeing everybody again and just that makes it all um, just so much more special. But then on the other hand, I think, you know, I have the experience of, of being in, in situations like that. And, um, and um, that doesn't mean that I have less nerves when I get to uh, big points or, 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 you know, big matches. But it, it does, um, it does help having, you know, having been there. Kleister's winning streak at the U.S. Open is now up to 12 matches. If she wins two more, she'll have a second Grand Slam title to add to her resume. Reporting from Flushing Meadows, Howard Fendrich, The Associated Press.